Well, we'll still deal with some showers this evening and maybe even into the night tonight, but in general, we're looking at some clearer and drier weather in the forecast. Let's take a look at the Doppler network here to start things off. We've got quite a bit of activity going on. We'll zoom into the south to start things off. You can see south of I-90, quite a few thunderstorms there. A couple of those are on the stronger side, and we've actually seen a severe thunderstorm move through the areas of uh, Seiko and Hinsdale, off into Valley County. Now, again, I'm recording this, as you can see, about quarter to three, and we'll pop back down to the south for a second and take another look at those. Now, here's 6 p.m. You can see this particular model has most of the activity already pushed out of northeastern Montana. Definitely possible, but I would think another lingering shower or two is still in the forecast. As, and as we head through the night tonight, as we animate this, we still even have a little bit of lingering shower activity here and there. Even into tomorrow morning, I think one or two showers could still be around. But in general, most of us will be starting off tomorrow sunny. We'll see clouds building into the afternoon, maybe one or two showers popping up, especially near the Rocky Mountain front of the High Line. Most of us, though, staying dry for Wednesday, staying fairly cool for Wednesday, too. Right now, temperatures below 80 for most of us, really only Jordan and Billings above that 80 degree mark right now. Overnight tonight, down to about 51 in Great Falls, 50 in Lewistown, 52 in Haver, and also 52 degrees in Helena. Tomorrow's highs, again, not that warm. We're going to be remaining below 80 for many of us, right at 80 for Helena, and we will see some 80s in eastern Montana. The biggest change coming our way, though, the most significant weather, is actually going to be in the way of wind. It's not going to be tomorrow. Tomorrow's wind's going to be pretty tame. 10, 20 mile per hour gusts, pretty typical for this time of year, but those winds are really going to ramp up by the time we get to tomorrow morning, and especially, or excuse me, Thursday morning, and especially into Thursday afternoon. 30, 40 mile per hour wind gusts not out of the question with some stronger winds along the Rocky Mountain front. So we are preparing for some of the windiest weather we've seen in quite some time. Thanks for watching.